Welcome to the world headquarters of the Mass Preacher, broadcasting from somewhere partially underground <coughs> on this continent. I entitled this message, Architects for Jesus, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. <coughs> and I'm not going to read all these verses. Um, Okay, let's see, okay, <coughs> let's read verse 10, 1 Corinthians 3.10. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Careful, you be careful, dude. You be careful, dude, is what Paul is saying. He's saying, dude, be careful. I have never seen a time where so many people hate the great apostle Paul, who more than any other human being had a revelation of the ecclesia and what this thing called the church is. I know why the devil gets on people's brains and attacks him. This word, master builder, is our... Architect time, or it's where the word architect comes from. God, Paul was the architect, and as you read through his letters, you get a, a design model for what the church is supposed to be. If you get somebody who has a big head and is attacking Paul, I, this last summer here there was a conference that's supposed to be on manuscripts. So I went and brought a few of my books on manuscript evidence, and I was going to talk to this gentleman there. Well, the real, and, I, and this was a, a church-related group that had this whack job that was unsaved and had a demon on his brain um, destroying Paul. I mean, he should have said, I hate Paul. I hate Christianity. That's what should have been the title. And I listened there, and you know, there was a police officer there, so I didn't want to ask too serious of questions. I had talked to him before, and he just seemed agitated and irritated, didn't really want to talk very much, and now I know why. But he was just, he even wrote a translation of Paul, destroying what Paul said. Fascinating, isn't it? The, the, the great apostle Paul, the architect of what the New Testament is supposed to look like. So I encourage you to begin binding demons when someone sets out to really rip Paul apart. Signing off from somewhere partially underground, the mass preacher bids you good night.